your learning paths and all uh, if you are comfortable with any language also don't hesitate to ask question in that language i can understand both as telugu english hindi so in these three languages if you are comfortable in any language you can question me that so that i can explain you in but i can i'll give you the explanation in english only but i am talking about you are com comfortable by asking questions okay in coming to what is tableau uh, as i have told you which is a data visualization tool which is a tableau is a it's, it's like a before it is a uh, it has its own company now tableau is acquired by the salesforce anyone knows that salesforce is a company tableau has been acquired by those people now tableau is not a, not a company now which is a so now here i have uh, created my pdf is a little bit but uh, just a uh, eight months old and uh, see this tableau is acquired by the salesforce if anyone asked you in the interviews and all please do remember that and which is a very interactive data visualization tool it is which you can call it as data visualization tool or a bi tool or a data analytics tool anything so tableau helps the great mnc's and world organizations or educational organizations and health organizations very powerfully okay this tableau is helping all these interest industries to get their business into one form and uh, giving the easy way of taking decisions by uh, creating these visually analytics like using these dashboards they can make a powerful decision and all and which allows the customers to spend more time on data analysis and less time on data wrangling see this is very easy by click one click itself you can how uh, do and play with the data and you can create a uh, many visualizations don't worry i'll take you through all the visualizations very easily so that you can do it very uh, easily with within a fraction of seconds see there is a many uh, you know ba tools why you are here for the tableau demo if i ask you uh, i don't know how many uh, how many of you can unmute yourselves and tell me this because uh, you are very you know Uh, shy to talk here that's okay see why the tableau only because it takes very less time it means like by creating maybe it takes a different different timings because see a developers will be with a unique skills and all if it is takes for me take it takes 10 minutes for someone it takes maybe 1 minute it depends upon the developer but the processing time will be very quick quick production time it is mean very interactive visualizations we can create in creative platform it is a very useful platform for all the type of organizations very flexibility will be there more type more updations will be there with the tableau very frequent updations they'll do the tableau i mean the salesforce company now the before it is a tableau company so these companies will do our updations very you know very quickly they'll update it uh, they have a good community where we can learn Uh, with the community and where we can raise the quality issues also where they can respond and update the things in the tableau so these are the features that's the reason we are learning a tableau okay yeah see what are the pros actually if i come and talk about the tableau is it's very useful and very easy to use which i have already told in the previous slide very easy by the one clicks and drag and drops itself you can create a visualization and direct connect and go when you wanted to connect to any data set any type of data source that is very easy by one click you can connect and you can directly go to the data source page from there to a sheet from there to the stories from there to the da dashboards and all this terminology may be very new to you people because you are at the starting point to learn about the tableau where i am taking to the learning sessions and all i'll understand what is data source what is data source page and all and the remaining all the terminologies i'm using here worksheet dashboard stories and all you'll understand once you are into the class perfectly okay and perfect mashups we can do it means like we can play with the data whatever the data which is there for us as a task we can play with that we can mash up mini and we can do the a good 
and interactive visualizations with that best practices in box many as many as possible we can create and the huge data also which can support by using this tableau tool and coming to the product family if i can say what are the products which is tableau is providing is nothing but tableau desktop tableau reader tableau public tableau server and tableau online which are all these things you can see in this image i have connected these people into the tableau desktop because these are all getting connected to this as a sources of from the tableau reader it has a good connection with the tableau desktop in even the public and in the server and tableau online i can say these are all the family members where this is a father you can say or where this is the head of the family these are all the child people on the family you can take like that so these are all because father and remaining children will be having some connection right so in the same way all this tableau reader public server and online will be having a good connection with the tableau desktop why and how these are all things will be getting into the know in the classes when we events we are into the classes okay and as i have told you visually there is a good perfection for the tableau where you can see here with the example see here if i ask you people with this image where i am hovering my mouse see here see can anyone tell me how many uh, fours or how many fives are there it's very difficult right it is possible but is very difficult you have to count like one Two, a three, four, five. In the same way, you have to go through each and every line, and you have to pick the five where it is. And sometimes it will be clumsy, or anything can be possible. Maybe you get distracted by someone's noise or anything. But here, see, when I have applied a, a bolt out here for the five, then you can see how many. And the, according to uh, as compared to this and all, this quite easy to. Uh, figure out where the five is right you can bold out the five here by using visual perfection techniques for example i have told you how easy it is then see here i just took an example to show you how the sales range suppose i take a, a company name is uh, like you can take this is a amazon okay online company it is so i'm i'm talking about their sales in 2016 15 and 14 see these are the le legendaries they are explaining the colors about their years see this gray color is out for uh, 2016 pink for uh, purple is for 2015 and blue is for 2014 and according again here these are the years and years again the quarters first quarter second quarter third quarter and fourth as you know in a year there will be a four quarters according to the sales see suppose if they are ask me uh, the quarter wise sales details for a company then this is the way i'll be providing see this is also one more visualization for the same data i have gave here see for the first a quarter this is so did you observe here see these are separate years for 2014 all the quarters i have gave the visualization different differently for 2014 15 and 16 this is same data i have played with the same data here can you come here and see here all together for the 3 years i have gave the i have highlighted the quarters here here i have highlighted the years with the same data you can play many okay you can create a many visualizations in that don't worry in the training classes i'll just explain each and every visualization and i'll give you a time and i'll give you a, a step wise explanation how you can create along with me i'm repeating this again and again i'll give a time for you people in the class itself to do along with me all the visualization which i'll be creating and end of this section you will be able to create the visualization by your own and i'll give you the real time scenarios also how it will be useful and in what kind of scenarios this can be useful i mean the visualizations can be used i can uh, so uh, as i have showed you a simple example here sales related particulars along with the quarters two types of different uh, visualizations i have showed you people then let me uh, take you through the some visualizations where we can create in the tab using the uh, tableau tool see we can do a highlighting see so many uh, see suppose this is sales and profit okay see i have highlighted some uh, Uh, uh so if i can take i have highlighted here specific uh, category i have highlighted suppose if if you take i have highlighted a phones 
okay phone related sales so some company has say, uh, their uh, sales value for the um, they, they have asked me to create a visualization where they wanted to see sales and profit for sa uh, phones only but they are selling washing machines imagine they are selling a uh, uh, you know uh, 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 this air conditions chimneys and all these electronic goods they'll be selling but they wanted to highlight only phones because they wanted to see how many sales are happening for the mobile phones okay that that's the reason they have asked me to highlight this only for phones so that i have highlighted this here then according to that visualization i can do highlighting also if suppose my manager or my boss or my client ask me i have a company where i have uh, many goods will be selling uh, through my company but uh, i need all the sales also see you can see the dull lines over here right in the say here see this is sales this is profit so how many sales are happening all the products how much profit they are getting so two things i have differentiated over here so in this again they are asked me only highlight the mobile phones sales and mobile phones profit whereas i have highlighted here so that here clearly you can see see here i have highlighted this according to the month wise sales okay suppose you take this is a 2021 sales from the january it has been started from the 100k and it went down and again the it went up in the june and again it went down in the july and again it went up in the august and again it come down into the october vice versa it went like this and these are the sales so come here see i am now i'll be explaining in the client view point see my client will understand okay this much sales has been happened in the january 2021 for the mobile phones from that sales how much profit they got okay this much profit i got okay when the sales are high the my profit is also high when the sales are low my profit is also low okay by this accordingly they can take a decision good decision okay i have to do something on this this month the business will be low or something they'll take a good decision by doing this so not only this highlighting part many we can do as such i'll show you few and important things in the real time scenarios what exactly the client part of you uh, what uh, many uh, industries will ask you to create so that that could be very easy for you to track interviews also so i'll take you through the, uh, that tour now see now here uh, this is forecasting we can do the forecasting also by using a tableau see here i have done the forecasting by 2012 13 14 and 15 and we can predict the upcoming year also suppose take it as a 2021 say i have uh, created by using some data so that data is having only until 2015 that's the reason i have displayed here by using 2016 so imagine i wanted to create for 2021 according to the future uh, the, uh, past views and all i can forecast what will happen in the future also right i can imagine and i can show them that what will happen in the future also by using this tableau tool i can do the forecasting highlighting forecasting and uh, i can uh, do many things as well for example i have showed you what two here many will be there i'll take you to all the tours in my training session don't worry it will be very easy for you by a single click and drag and dropping without a uh, keyboard you can do uh, all the visualization okay and coming to uh, visualizations we can create a bar graph by using the tableau by, and uh, we can create a line graph and we can create a dual axis there's nothing but see bar graph as you know in the in our uh, you know educational institutions we have gone through this uh, how how to create a bar graph and all but this is quite different and uh, if anyone knows here the advanced excel means like uh, uh, you know suppose if anyone knows the excel pivot table this could be very understandable for those people whereas pivot table is a kind of a updated version of a tableau i can say so this is a bar graphs which we can create using a tableau and this is a line graph dual axis means at the same time i can create a two graphs in the same visualization it's nothing but dual axis and coming here geographical graphs see sometimes i have to present uh, my data by using a geographical graphs it's nothing but like state wise city wise country wise i have to present my data what type of uh, sales is happening 
which region uh, in the united states how much sales happened how much profit happened how many people are there or else um, how many employees are there from united state what are their salary and coming to the staffing we can do coming to the hospital hospitalization how many uh, cases are rising in the united state or how many if they are if there is an a healthcare organization it has in a multiple you know branches throughout the world from the united states how many uh, ips are happening for them ops are happening for them and coming to the staffing companies for the how how many uh, candidates has been recruiting uh, what are the their salaries and blah blah everything we can create by using geographical things and all by the region showing uh, through the map and all we can identify i mean the client can identify what is happening in that uh, particular region and all okay and coming to the area graph with the dual axis area graph we can do a single and the dual axis also as i have told you in the previous slide itself dual axis is nothing but i will be able to create two graphs in the single visualization it is nothing but the same type of this one but area graph it is showing See, this is empty one this is filled one this is nothing but area graph and coming to this which is very very important visualization uh, in the tableau where everyone will be using which is nothing but heat map where you can see here our legend is is showing that a less sales is dark one the highest highest sales is this color so will you be can anyone able to see tell me which which uh, you know sub category is making a good sales here in this by seeing this like this one by seeing this legend can anyone able to tell me because here it is already mentioned here right see minus sales means like uh, you know loss is happening here in the dark side means tables right tables is in very dark color right here it is you know uh having a very less sales and coming to the uh, phones and all phones and copiers which is making the highest sales so accordingly so many uh datas we can take and we can uh, create our heat map and which is a very good and running uh, heat map in the real time visualization also and coming to the how we can apply the visualization here are the some few steps i have uh Uh, showed you here like uh, at, in some scenarios if your client or any manager or boss asks you these are the good uh, way to go like uh, for suppose if they ask you to create a bar graph which can be used in like when dimensions is discontinuous these all things you may be uh, feel like this is very new to you people this all technology i have told you or mentioned already you will get to know what is continuous dimension what is uh, discrete dimension and all these geographical maps these are very new to you don't worry when i am taking to the real time classes and all in the examples i'll show you all these things you will get to know okay these are all the maps which we can create for example i have gave very much uh, like very uh, frequently used by the you know all the organizations that's why i have uh, mentioned only few over here so so many will be there so those all we will be discussing and coming to the tableau joins in union these are the most important topic why i am explaining here in captured in the demo is like so that you should un understand that we as a faculty here will be able to cover all the topics in the tableau which are the main points is here joins and unions will be a very great topic for you people which you should know this otherwise you cannot play with the data in the tableau because this is this is the main page where after the connection of data source you will be landing into the data source page where you have to do joins and unions suppose if i take a joins there will be a very important points all these things and all these two things and in entry point of view also the uh, interviewer will ask you a for sure question about this joins and unions or so coming to the joins see joins is nothing but where you can combine the columns is like you can see the table 1 and table b i have clubbed them as it is like no similarity fields is required okay there should be all the data can be clubbed by using joins and coming to the unions there should be a unique field uh, the relevant field should be available in the table a and table b then only we can we can do the unions okay it's in a simple form i can say combining the columns is no, columns is nothing but joins combining the rows is nothing but unions okay combining the rows is nothing but all the data should be similar 
as possible as that 100 percent uh, as compared to the table one and table b that sorry table a and table b then only we can make the unions in the tableau if not we cannot able to make the joins there will be a error will be showing that so that we can change the data types and we can do that that is secondary as as if i i will be uh, uh, take you to all these scenarios and joining is nothing but whereas uh, if the data is common or not whatever it may be you can join them okay just just have uh, just understand the things by usually look here so that i'll uh, take you to the real time like how we can make the joins and unions in the class okay and coming to the last but not least of this uh, you know types of joins which is very very important if you are a, a sql person you'll better understand this if not also i'll uh, give you visually understanding techniques in the user interface from the coming class uh, ongoing classes from tomorrow uh, which is nothing but there will be a four types of joints will be there left joint right joint inner joint and uh, full outer joint is nothing but see left joint is nothing but where you can understand all the data see imagine these are two different data sources okay left when i create a left joint it, it's nothing but all the data from the left side and the data which is common from the right joint also will be coming in this left joint and coming to the right joint all the data from the right side and only the common data from the left side and coming to the inner joint only common from these both people these both data what is the common so that which will include in the inner joint and coming to the full outer joint which nothing but whatever data which is present in the table a table b that will be present and will be sitting in our data source page okay this is how the overview and the what and all includes and if i uh, let you know what the topics and what more we can uh, know about this and all overview itself will take a lot much time so my demo will not be that that type of uh, thing and all so whereas you you should understand what exactly will be knowing and learning from my session is nothing but this type of things and ultimately we have to create a dashboards okay by end of this section you are able to create that i'm sure about that and so if you are learning this it's nothing but about a demo or it's nothing but about attending classes or doing practice and all it's all about you have you will be able to create a dashboards and stories by end of the day so that that's all about the learning tableau in my perspective so hope uh you have uh, you know gone through this uh, demo very in attentively if you have any doubts regarding uh, any type of you know including this demo or excluding also if you have any doubts in your mind i'll give you a 10 minutes for you all people so that you can shoot me with your questions i'll i'll answer a tableau has designed a visql language to design this tableau application okay tableau has tableau people has uh, designed their own language they didn't relied on any kind of language they have their own language they developed it which is named as a visql for to create this application which is tableau fine this is a very important question please be keep it on your minds pocket closed now yeah coming to the data source page see did you observe one thing when i am explaining about the user interface at the beginning point in the connection page there is a white logo isn't it it has been converted as a colored one let me click on here once see i have immediately came and landed on the main page of a tableau again i am clicking over here on the white part which is able to see here a tableau icon clicking on here and i have jumped on to a data source as of now data source i'll explain from the sheets also how you can go and jump to the main page also i'll show you no issues okay and which is a color part is showing is nothing but you are on to the live part of work that's why it has become a, it has been became a a real time logo which is a colored logo okay and coming here 
I have a selected a file which is Microsoft Excel file, right? Isn't it? I have chosen here as a Microsoft Excel, right? So that will be available over here. What type of file I have connected? What is my file? Will be available over here. Okay. Let me open that file once. Yeah, I'll be opening that file. So if you have any questions every day, you just are, uh, shoot your questions when I'm opening such kind of fold. I know. So use that time so that we cannot waste too much time so that you can shoot me the questions. I can answer you people. Okay. I'm going to the data source. This way I went no for connection. I'm going here. See, uh, maybe some people already pro in this and came here to learn more or something, but I'm considering each and everyone who is attending the class maybe they are from the ground level of learning so i have to go from each and every part of them okay don't uh, you know uh, judge this uh, demo session or a first class itself oh everyone can say this can be, be visible in anywhere or the, all these things so learning is something from everyone has to go through from lkg ukg first standard second standard until your career path right so a class is also the same way that's okay yeah, this is the file which I have connected, which is Excel. I'm opening over here now. Give me a moment. It is getting loaded. Yeah, let it open. So by the time, uh, you can able to see here, right? There is a orders, people and returns you are able to see, right? These are all the sheets which is present in the microsoft excel file which i have been connected over here okay the sample superstore named microsoft excel i have connected here in that excel sheet the, the that excel file there will be a three named sheets one is order people and returns that for that part itself i have uh, opened this one you can understand you can able to understand now see this i have open this excel sheet for you you can able to see here right orders people and returns right these are the three sheets or available in the excel sheet let me take you to the tableau now see here you can able to see the those three sheets here how many sheets which is present in your excel sheet all the sheets will come and sit over here only three sheets are there that's why these three sheets there will be a question for you. You have to tell me already there is a order people and returns. You can able to see here, right? Again, orders, people and return are there. If you know the answer now also, you just tell me tomorrow only why there is again the orders, people and returns here. You have to tell me, okay? See, my learning is all the time is like I wanted to test my students also how attended they are in the class. Okay, that is the good way of learning, which I trust even I have learned in the same way. Okay, let me uh, let me know tomorrow why the orders and people's and written sheets is available over here again. Why it is showing in the different icon. This is a table icon. Why this is a different icon. Okay, you just let me know. Yeah, coming here, let me drag the, and coming to this part. See, this is my work session. I can say it is known as a canvas session. Okay. They have to talk uh, in the real time uh, in our organizations. They used to call it as canvas. So I'm dragging this orders to canvas now. Let's see. So it is asking me drag tables here. So it asked me to drag the table. So I have dragged the order table here. It is loading the data. Let it load. Loading. Yes. See, it has loaded the data. Let me take you to the Excel sheet once again. Isn't it all the data which is present row ID, order ID, order date, ship date, all the column names I'm talking about. Okay, right. See here, each and every column is present over here, right. One second. I have to go to this end. So everything is present, isn't it? So all the data which has been there in that it will be provided. So can you able to see here these many rows are there? It seems thousand rows. So 
if you don't know how many rows are there only less data is there or something so uh, suppose you don't need whole data to do the analysis if you want only 10 okay or uh, 100 only you want just take a random number 129 click here okay so now only 129 records only will be available over here because i have asked the tableau to keep only 129 okay because i don't need all the rows because my manager has asked me to uh, do the work until 129 rows only or 129 records only so they'll be asking like that a record is a row okay that is a terminology which we use here so in that case this uh, this column will be available uh, you know useful okay if suppose someone asked uh, there will be a 2000 records uh, just check see i am giving 2066 is the record number someone has uh, told this so just see one second it has took the point 1050 it is taking a duplicating data actually uh, ignore this actually whenever i give some num random number over here after clicking this button it will show you whatever the yeah, okay this this uh, uh, this super story is consisting of 10000 records i am really sorry for that so let me see 11000 i gave now okay some random number i gave 99000 or something let's see 11000 i am giving now and clicking on this row see it is showing automatically it is showing there is only 10,000 records are available you cannot go beyond that exactly those are null uh, in 10,000 six are null rows that's why uh, it is showing the real number which is 9,994 this is the one option where you can know how many uh, you know rows are present in your a data which you are playing with in the data source page so this page is known as a data source page okay this page immediately once you connect to, if you connect to the flat files or if you connected through a server whatever it may be it will land you to the immediately to the data source page only okay and so this is the way you have to drag the sheets to your canvas session this is are called to be as canvas session when you drag here the result will appear over here okay you'll be doing something here and the results will appear here all the joins unions and all these topics will be explained here itself i mean this is the way this is the path this is the place where i'll be uh, showing all those things so did you observe one thing over here after i have uh, dragged something immediately it is asking me go to worksheet isn't it let me drag out this out see it went it is not asking me to go to sheet because it is i didn't drag any data over here right i nothing is there in my canvas session if data is not present in my canvas session what will i do isn't it if the movie is not playing in the uh, theater what is the use of going to uh, you know theater uh, and sitting in the chairs no use right in the same way so there is no data why to go to worksheet there will not be no work right i will not be having any work so worksheet is something where i have to work isn't it the data should be there to work so once i have dragged my data i didn't give any conditions here like join union or any sql queries nothing i have written or live or ex extract connection i didn't apply any filter i am just showing okay these are all like topics live and extract connection filters joins unions then these are all topics in the tableau okay let me go to the worksheet anyway in in the going of the sessions one by one in the pattern you will be learning all the topics no worries i am going to the worksheet i am going with the flow let me go worksheet see here see this is a main ui of a tableau worksheet okay the tableau worksheet you can able to see this one 
in any kind of page you are going in the tableau if you are in the data source page connection page worksheet dashboard and stories everywhere you can see that yeah come here the graphical representation of a part of a square box to the plus symbol is known as a worksheet and four chamber window type of plus symbol is known as a dashboard and a book type of plus symbol is uh, known as a story which all we can create with the tableau okay these all things will be present maybe might be uh, you have seen a uh, videos or you have gone through some uh, some of your friends have uh, uh, taught you or uh, any any of the interviews maybe you have attended they may, they might ask you or anywhere you have heard like uh, tableau is nothing but you you have to create a dashboard and all yes we'll be creating dashboards directly we cannot create the dashboard we have to do the work right ultimately finally we'll be presenting it in the dashboard and we'll be not stopping with the dashboard as well there will be a stories i'll take you to the tour of a stories as well how to create after a dashboards also using those dashboards okay so this way and if you if you need to change anything and if you wanted to go to a data source page by upon clicking here on the data source page you can do any kind of uh, data you know manipulations and all you can do here and going to the sheet again and you can able to see this icon here itself i am clicking here i am directly going to the connect page when i am clicking here wherever i am i'll be going to that page only suppose in the data source page i have clicked upon here it will go to connect part and it will ask me do you need any connection so if you need anything then you can do that from the worksheet also you can do the connections that is not now in the going forward sessions you will be knowing that okay now let us see there is a slight line has been differentiating the up and down parts isn't it and see here these are all is in the blue color these are all in the green color to know all this we have to go to the data source page and one more the one more enter you question here do you know the data types in the tableau they'll ask you what is the answer you have to give you have to give, you have to say first yes i know the data what are they they'll ask you or directly they'll ask you what type of data uh, what what are the data types which is available in the tableau okay there are many like uh, string type date type date you know geographic type okay uh, uh, string type you can say like that see these are the data types okay hash mark is nothing but a number data type which will take a if if there is an a number in your data it will give you this data type mark okay if it is a abc that is string type it is nothing but alphabets and numbers also okay and this is a date type okay calendar icon will be there when they, the data is a date type then the icon will be calendar and this is also date and see here this is a word right string type that's why it is showing abc 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 and all you can see here a globe mark whenever your data is consisting of any kind of uh, geographical data it's nothing but any country name city name state name or your area name or anything then the data will be occupied with a data type which is geographical data type okay now we understand a data types means okay data types is this one string data type date data type number date of type and uh, geographical data type calendar data type so these are all the data types okay which you can say and coming to the worksheet now again see here these all the columns i am able to see here right whatever which is present in the data source all these will be present over here but in the data source i can able to see whole data right everything i can able to see here but in the worksheet i can only able to see the column names that's it okay the column field names i can say field names only i can say whenever i can get them into my canvas session which is nothing but work session then only i can able to see what exactly is there in that column or a field okay coming here i have already told you see see here there is any different did you find so this is a green this is a blue there is a slight line which you able to see here i guess so so the above part is nothing but a can anyone say dimensions 
okay and the down part as measures okay why this is called as a dimension whatever the string data type or geographical data type or uh, date data type and all these data types will be coming and sitting in the dimensions okay roid is a common everywhere the roid will be coming and sitting in the dimensions there is a no kind of argument questions here uh, why it is not in the measures and all i hope you all have that sense thank you and uh, coming to the measures all the number count related data which is nothing but how much profit has been happened sales quantity and discount these all things will come and sit over here okay all the number type data will be called as a measures and all the description type in a simple word i can say description type or data type date type geographical type okay which means simply i can say uh, the date data and the country related or state related city related area related data and the normal customer name or any name related data string any words alphabetical names so will be coming and sitting here so this is nothing but dimensions and measures okay see you can able to see here tables right so whatever which is present here in this so which is showing it as a tables which is a orders right what we have got see this is the database the cylindrical one which you are able to see one cylinder why i am mentioning here one cylinder because you will understand in a next classes because we will be playing with the different different data so tableau is a very huge application used by the many industries right they will not simply use one data source right they will be clubbing they will be blending they will be joining many types of data source so again you have to identify it right which data you have added and all so for everyone there will be a icon okay no worries for that so this way we can identify that so that's why i am saying here one cylindrical is available so as of now one data is there which i have added here in that data also only one sheet i took which is orders i didn't made any unions joins nothing i made don't worry if this terminology is new also once you are into the classes day by day you'll understand okay and coming here these all toolbars also i'll be explaining along with the class because if i explain now this is a save this is a add button this is a pause button this is addition this is uh, like removing this is for the copy and all you will you will just remember it but that is a waste of time as well when i am doing the uh, you know uh, work you mean like analysis of this data which is present here then you will understand that okay coming here which is very important thing is show me you can able to see here okay if you click on here it will be visible if i cl click here you can able to see all this graphical things over here right there will be a how many uh, inbuilt uh, graphs or uh, charts is present in the tableau does anyone know that no 24 okay but thousands of maps we can create no worries i'll uh, show you also how to how we can create only in bull 24 are there but using this tool we can create number of okay number of uh, charts and graphs we can create by using the tableau that is all about show me app and if you suppose if anyone ask you to create a pie chart no worries here it will if you click on this pie chart just hover it not sell i'm not selecting just i'm hovering here here and there so it is saying down part here the information will come just see i'm hovering on the pie chart so which is showing you need one or a more dimension it means you need to have any dimension any of the one dimension you should have to create this pie chart one or a two measures at least you should have one measure or a two any okay to create that pie chart so if anyone ask you to create these kind of charts and all the names also will come if they'll they'll ask you histogram or a box and whisker or any area chart or any line chart bubble chart or circle chart tree chart heat map tree map or any kind of map no issues you just uh, click on here so that it will let you know what type of dimensions and measures you should have okay and coming here the main important thing is there is a column and row thing which you are able to see here right these are the two main things in the worksheet where we have to play with the data 
okay let me take uh, one dimension here in the column which is category and i wanted to see the category wise sales here okay see here i have created a very simple uh, column chart right so if i don't want that direct i can make it as a line so this is nothing but a marks card i'll explain you in detail the marks card not only to change this uh, you know uh, the graphs it is many things has been included and you can create a many uh, different graphs also by using this marks card so now i am able to see the column chart which is related to a category wise sales how what are the categories furniture office supplies and technology those are the sales if i wanted to see the what are the sales here on the number i'll be able to provide the label for that so that people can easily understand that upon hovering here they can see the tool tip the white part which is giving the information about the category which is technology sales which is 83000 uh, uh, sorry uh, 8 lakhs 36154 which is a sales one which is nothing but a tool tip okay these all things i'll be going through while we are creating the graphs from tomorrow why because i'm giving little introduction over here because you should do along with me okay then only you can understand the topic because you are paying much right to know this and you are spending your uh, you are spending more uh, this one which is nothing but uh one second excuse me yeah you can learn along with me is because of your paying much right and you are uh, spending your one hour of your valuable time here to learn something right it's not something freely you are coming here and spending uh, this and that and all a time is very precious than money okay if you take you are paying less or something also the time is very important so that's the reason i'll not uh misuse my time if you are listening or if you are learning or not but my teaching way of the style is this one my students should learn along with me then only they can understand the topic very easily if they'll practice because all the faculties will say like they'll create a charts like this very very fast and uh, they'll be asking you yeah, do it practice it when you practice you'll get it they'll say no i'll be giving you a chance to create along with me so that you will get some doubts right there will be a good interaction with me so that you can able to speak that will be useful for your interviews and you can able to create and you will get many doubts if you are doing along with me so i encourage such kind of uh, teaching which i trust in for the learning okay so uh, you are able to understand now how to drag the things of uh, i mean like measures and dimensions to the canvas session this is a canvas session see suppose i said here this is also canvas session when i drag the sheet here the results has been happened here right in the same way when i am dragging a dimension or a measure to the column or rows the results is happening here isn't it i can able to uh, say here um, what will do one second okay i can even change the uh, sorry i can even uh, change the names i can do whatever i want okay and whenever i want you wanted to perform it sorry you just go for entire view so that it will give you a good view okay if i am if i'll show you in the presentation mode see how good it is looking so that's why always you have to say fit entire view then it will be uh, good for you to uh, you know go with this options okay uh, i'm good with the session hope you all also if you have any questions i'll be here on the call for a 5 minutes you just shoot me with your questions i'll clear your doubts don't worry about any kind of in depth knowledge of a tableau as day by day step by step i'll take you to the all the topics i'll not miss anything and i'll shoot you with the interview questions also as i am one of the lead 
a developer with an experience of interview panel member as well as working as of now also i'm working so you will be able to ask me any kind of questions so real time scenarios also when i am explaining from tomorrow when i am explaining any graphs or charts i will let you know in uh, which scenarios they'll be using if anyone has been already uh, attended my session yesterday the demo session i feel everyone has been attended yesterday i guess so those all people know because i have gave some list in which time which chart or which graph will be useful which is nothing but a real time scenario okay you all you all people also wanted to know the real time scenarios only right that's why you are here yeah, if not there is so many platforms of, sorry sorry someone is saying something i missed yes someone is speaking excuse me can you can you can you please repeat someone is someone spoke something i missed okay no issues uh, i'll be wait here for three more minutes already two minutes sorry hi ma'am Okay, yes, yes. Hi. Hi. Yeah, is there, is there any material is there for ma'am to practice? It's easy for us to practice the sessions. Yeah, that's like what I document. told Ambika. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm telling you now. If I or anyone tell you to go with any kind of and that to now for a career option if you are learning any software any kind of tool don't trust on rely on some files or notes okay there is already inbuilt application which is there in front of you and i am telling you every day i will give you a live examples you will be doing along with me that is actually the material for you will be i'll tell you how to save that every day also you can open it and practice no no worry sambika i'll take you because you are new to this window so these all will be like a dream you know a colors of dream so no issues i'll yes, take yes, you a tour of all these things yeah yeah, yeah. no okay ma'am thank you i let that come back sit I properly so. i'll take you to all the topics no issues ah right okay i'll button this for okay yeah hope you remaining all people are okay with the session because you are not shooting me any questions so i'll be leaving the session now thank you so much for attending hope you all people i can see all of you tomorrow thank you thanks for joining us bye no problem